Financial analysis includes a number of different steps in order to get a complete picture regarding the performance of a company. The starting point for this exercise is the company's financial statements, in particular its income statement, its balance sheet, and its statement of cash flows. Once we have the financial statements, then we can start performing trend and ratio analysis. For the income statement, this relates to the vertical and horizontal analysis we will be performing throughout this module. We also use the balance sheet and cash flow statement to undergo further ratio analysis. To do this, we look at trends, which are covered in modules 2 and 3 of this course. Once we perform the analysis, we interpret the results. We will do this throughout each module of the course as we go. In addition, in Module 4, we will piece it all together with a pyramid of ratios. We will be able to use this pyramid to piece it all together and have a solid understanding of how the company is performing. When using ratio analysis, there are two basic groups. The first is performance ratios, and the second is financial leverage ratios. Performance ratios speak to how a company is doing, how profitable is it, and how efficiently is it being run. Financial leverage ratios speak to the financial condition of the company. How liquid is it, and how solvent is it? For this module, we are only focusing on the performance ratios. As we analyze the income statement, it is the profitability ratios that we pay attention to. By completing the exercises in this section, you will have a thorough grasp of how to perform profitability ratio analysis of a company's income statement.